Greetings. My name is Tamar Cease, a candidate for the McDaniel College Masters in Curriculum and Instruction Program, and this is my analysis of school and teacher technology readiness PowerPoint presentation. Understanding our data story. Bladensburg High School is one of 32 high schools in Prince George's County, Maryland. Located in Bladensburg, Maryland, Bladensburg High School's vision is to develop and inspire learners who are problem solvers and solution-oriented citizens in a global challenging society. Currently, Bladensburg holds 1,812 students. Here are additional slides illustrating our demographics of ethnicities and our Hispanic Latino indicators. School Technology Questionnaire Results. The school questionnaire was very interesting to complete and understand. I can honestly admit I underestimated the depth of this questionnaire and the question statements I needed to answer. Over the course of three days, I answered each question to the best of my knowledge. However, some answers needed a certain level of research to not only answer, but more importantly for understanding. I was able to collaborate with fellow technology leaders and connect with leaders outside of our county in order to compare and contrast how my school aligned with other high schools geared to increasing the use, accessibility, and application of technology within our building and local areas with the school community. Here are the data results of our school's technology questionnaire. Here are some evident strengths and areas of improvement concerning Bladenburg's technology usage. We excel in the areas of skilled personnel and curriculum assessment and evaluation. Our team illustrates proficiency in differentiated instruction and meeting curriculum goals. Staff receives monthly and yearly ongoing professional development trainings in order to enhance classroom instruction and personal knowledge of advances in technology. Our team also uses technology for assessment administration and illustrates a high proficiency in implementing technology to support lesson planning. In addition to this strength, the TeachGabe software has transformed how teachers are evaluated in their observations and the increase of feedback colleagues can provide one another in regards to how professional performance is impacting the learning experience of their students. As great as we are in these areas, we fall short in equitable access of technology. With the exception of a few laptop carts, we have a non-functioning media center. There is not a lot of enough there is not enough technology in our building to accommodate the needs of our students. Due to this lack of technology, we are unable to allow students to take equipment home to complete online tasks and participate in digital tools. Although our staff receives information regarding ongoing monthly and yearly technology trainings, the participation of these events is scarce. These dates are delivered frequently and well in advance in order to give professionals notice of these awesome opportunities. However, the participation is very low and very rarely are new staff members present. These trainings also offer zero incentives to participating schools, which also supports the lack of participation in these sessions. Teacher Technology Questionnaire Results. Thank you to the members of the Mustang team who participated in the Teacher Technology Questionnaire for Bladensburg High School. I'm eternally grateful for your transparency and willingness to participate in this survey. Survey In disseminating this information, I desired results from different departments in order to gauge a collective representation of technology use throughout our building, rather than solely focusing on one department. It was also important to me to gather responses from non-department chairs or instructional specialists. Many of these representatives have fewer students assigned to their caseloads or lack thereof, Therefore, I wanted results from teachers who have students every day. Finally, I selected colleagues who use different forms of technology usage on a daily basis outside of the standard laptop and LCD projector. Here is the pool of selected colleagues and how they are represented in our building. The selection is comprised of three males and five females. All staff members range from teaching anywhere from one to five years of teaching to 25 years of teaching. The teachers selected are represented in the following departments. Amongst this pool of submissions, here are a few of the following tools of technology these team members use on a daily basis and the tools that are being utilized in their classroom. 
whiteboards, tablets, smartphones, podcasts, laptops, skill assessments, sharing of resources and ideas, conferencing, and social communication. There are a series of strengths within our school based on the teacher technology questionnaire. There's a high technology usage within the social studies, English, and foreign language departments. iPad certified teachers within social studies and English are assigned their own iPad card for their classes, allowing students to access multiple apps, software, and tools as an additional curriculum resource. Foreign language teachers use digital tools such as Google Earth to identify countries that host their respective languages in order to visualize these lands and enhance their learning experience. Another strength is that teachers are using their selected technology to connect students to real world issues. Students use technology to research current events in order to become substantial global citizens. Students are no longer competing with their classmates but competing with students around the world. Another strength is that teachers are fluent and proficient with the technology tools they are using. This is such a strong and powerful strength because teachers' comfort level with the technology they use play a major role in the effectiveness it has over their students' learning. In addition to these strengths, there is an urgent need to address the areas of improvement amongst our building. The first is the most obvious and heart-wrenching disappointment, the Media Center. In April 2015, the desktops and printers were removed from the library due to inactivity, viruses, and impaired parts. Though the removal of this defective technology was necessary, nothing was put into place to replace these damaged goods. Students and teachers un are, are unable to enhance learning via stationary and common technology use in the media center because there was literally nothing there. Another area of improvement based on the teacher questionnaire is the lack of knowledge concerning the national educational technology standards for teachers and or students. Only one of the eight teachers of the questionnaire knew what these standards were, let alone the representation of the acronym. There was an intense shortage of customizable learning activities that cater to the individual learning styles of our students and a solid knowledge of tools and software that cater to our special education and ESOL population. Finally, all teachers acknowledged that they failed to review internet safety with their students. Rarely, if ever, are teachers reviewing the ethical rules and responsibilities with their students in order to ensure safe and productive digital use. Challenges and gaps. Based on both of the school and teacher technology questionnaires, I believe that addressing and solving these five challenges will not only increase the data results of our, of our students and transform the technology use of our building, but also adhere to our vision in cultivating digital ready citizens capable of competing on a global level within society. Understanding data propels our future. The data story of any school is a pivotal component of the school's foundation. Too often, teachers are encouraged to improve student data with the importance of its increase, but are unaware of the overall data, especially where the school is ranked amongst other schools within the same district. Ensuring that team members know their school's data story makes the vision the staff and students are working towards more practical to obtain. Technology trainings for teachers. An evident strength from both questionnaires is that teachers are made aware of the ongoing technology trainings offered throughout the district on a monthly and yearly basis. However, the participation is significantly low. The district pushes and motivates teachers to implement technology. However, if these trainings were mandatory and a part of a teacher's recertification, I think that the district and the respective school will see a vast improvement in the implementation of tools and software. Modeling desired results. These trainings would also be significant because they would model the desired results schools expect to see. Too often are expectations set, but not clearly explained or modeled for schools to implement on their own. By modeling desired results, curriculum and school goals are more realistic to obtain. The dead zone, the media center. Our library has been tagged the dead zone because educational life fails to breed from our media center. From cell service to computer use, the media center has become a dumping zone for teacher relocation, testing, misbehaved students, or community meeting space. Our students lack a place to study, receive additional support in struggling areas, or type email and essay. This is a major learning gap for our students and should be solved immediately. Organizations such as donors.org assist these deficiencies within schools. However, I believe that having the support of leadership in requesting these grants will solve this problem before the next school year. School ready versus global ready citizenship. 
As previously stated, our students are no longer competing with their peers in their classroom, community, or nation. Our students are competing with people around the world. Our focus cannot solely rest on passing state exams and earning the bare minimum in classes towards graduation. We must ask ourselves, based on the education we disseminate to our students, can and how will they perform in this technological society? Technology has enabled our students to interact, learn, connect, communicate, analyze, create, synthesize, and collaborate with people around the globe. It is imperative that our instruction reaches outside of our classroom walls so that our students are prepared to academically and professionally survive in this day and age. Guiding team member chart. Here are the results from teacher one and teacher two guiding chart from the Cohen text. Thank you for your time, and I hope this presentation met the address academic needs of our building.